Hello there. Today's video is on a uh, on command line. So let's go ahead and start that up. Let's go ahead and open command line by typing in CMD. Right click, run as administrator. Uh, this will work on Windows Vista, Windows 7. Uh, I tried it on Windows 8 Enterprise. So uh, it should work on all Windows 8s. I'm not sure about Windows 8 RT. You, la you tablet people are on your own. Uh, a couple tricks I'm going to pull off is right click on the uh, top bar here, go to properties. Uh, enable quick edit mode. I'm going to be using copy and paste a lot. So we'll do that. Uh, let me open up Chrome. Chrome. And it's actually going to be the Star Wars trace route that we're doing today, the, uh, the IPv6 version. You want to go to uh, tunnelbroker.net or uh, I believe he.net works as well. Yeah, he.net. Uh, tunnelbroker.net. Get an account there. Uh, get signed in. You can make an IPv6 tunnel. Uh, You'll need to write a couple things down, such as going to ipchicken.com and know what your public IP address is. That'll be important. Uh, let's go back to the command prompt. We're going to do an IP config, not an IP chicken. Uh, IP config and write down your uh, your IP address. So you can see mine connects. It's 6847162. 31, which is the same as IP chicken gives me. If yours do not match, then that means you're probably behind a router or a uh, switch or a gateway device or some kind of thing like a modem, whatever you call it, uh, between you and the internet. And that's what's actually connected to the internet. Your computer's not directly connected to it. You're on some kind of private network. If you are and you, uh, you wind up getting an IP address such as... Uh, one that begins with a 10 or a 192 actually it would be a 192.168 or it could start with a 172 and then have the second number be 16 through 31 you're most certainly on a private network and uh, you need to remember whatever your computer shows right here because you're going to need to write that down uh, as a matter of fact if it doesn't match you should probably write it down anyway if it doesn't match what's in IP chicken all right so let's go into some command line here net sh and uh, we're gonna do an interface Teredo and then show state gosh can you see that right uh, let me make it a little smaller because I'm worried that my recording area there we go show state it says a uh, client That'll be important later on. All right, so uh, let's do uh, let's go to Hurricane Electric. At the there are actually three parts to this video. First part is going to be me building the tunnel. The second part is going to be doing the ping or the trace route. Sorry, the trace route. The uh, the third part is going to be me deleting the tunnel. So if like me you've tried this a few times and failed, you may actually have remnants of the of the previous attempts still existing in your network configuration so that's why at the end of the video I'm doing a delete the tunnel part so zoom forward to that and maybe what I do there can help you um, so let's go ahead and get to uh, building our tunnel let's go to tunnelbroker.net uh, oh it's on the left side where you do create a regular tunnel and we need to know what the IP address is so there's my IP address. Uh, copy that. I just hit enter when I highlighted it. If you're doing the quick edit thing, you're going to have to close command prompt and reopen it to get it to do that. So now uh, it's checking the address, and I get this red error message. Well, well, it was there for a minute. It's basically my Windows machine is blocking ICMP. They're trying to ping my public IP address. If you're behind a gateway, a router, a modem, a device, whatever, you're going to need to enable that on that device. Please do not ask me how to do that on your device. It's your device. You should learn how to work it. But I will show you how to make a Windows firewall. So if you want to connect directly to your whatever, to the internet, that's fine. So let's go for the uh, firewall. Oosh, really large window. There we go. Uh, on the right side, there's a. Uh, oops. If I highlight inbound rules, 
I can make a new rule over here on the right side. Yeah, yeah, still a very large window, but we'll have to deal with that. That's fine. Um, so rule type, custom. Go next. Uh, all programs, sure. Why not? Uh, protocol type, ICMP4. ICMPv4. There we go. Next. Now, you may want to put Tunnel Broker's IP address in here, which, if I'm not mistaken, where's my browser? There's my browser. Uh, they tell me, well, they tell me at some point, um, I think it's going to be, for me, I'm choosing Virginia, so it'll be that. So you can put that in right here, just these IP addresses, and add. But I'm just going to do all. Choose uh, allow the connection. Choose whatever networks you're on. I'm just going to choose all three. Next, give it a name. ICMP. Finish. There we go. There's the network rule. Now, let's go back to Tunnel Broker. See what it says. I just clicked in there, hit the tab. Ha! Yes! We're golden. So... Let's go ahead and create the tunnel. It's going to give us a commands that we can actually put in. That's nice of them to do. Oh, there we go. So, example configuration. Select your OS. Uh, Windows Vista 2008-7. This will work on a... I've tried this. This works on Windows 8 Enterprise, so... I don't know about Windows 8 RT, but it seems to work on all others. Okay, so when IP Chicken gave you your address, it um, it should have given you the one that exists right here. Obviously not this one. This one's mine. Uh, but if it gave you a different one, at this point you want to do a let's do an exit out of NetSH, do a clear screen, do an IP config again. And you want to copy this right here. So copy that and change it right here. Which for me, it's the same thing. So let's copy all of that and right click in the command prompt and it'll paste. It'll hit enter automatically on the first three. The last one you'll actually have to hit enter. So I get an OK there. So everything's good. Uh, no error message here, no error message here, uh, and an OK there. So everything's good. Uh, I should now be able to trace route to dash six dash H, and I'm going to do the maximum of 255 hops. Ob1 dot scry dot net. And uh, we'll just wait. It'll pop up eventually. Oh, there we go. Music should start. I'm not going to sing for you or anything like that. But uh, episode six. seems a uh, very slow and then Monty Python reference then we got Fresh Prince of Bel Air
Of course, I like the CCIE reference instead of instead. Of the guy that created this is uh, Ryan Werber. Probably mispronouncing that. Uh, so you should you know find him up on social media and thank him for it. What are we doing here? Do not fail on me. Oh, it was waiting for me to do something. I guess because I selected it. I just hit the enter key and it kept going. Okay, and that's it. That's the end of it. Uh, so the next part is going to be to delete this stuff. Because like I said, I tried this multiple times and there were still remnants of the configuration uh, as I did it. So let's go ahead and start doing it now. Let's finish this up with a uh, route print. You can see the uh, route print right here. Uh, this 0, 0 will be important. This FE80, I believe, is a link local. I may be wrong. It could be stateless, but uh, I think it's the link local address. I always have to look that up. Um, so then we're going to do a route delete. Oop. And uh, colon, colon, slash, zero. Enter. Okay. That's very uh, enthusiastic about that. Uh and then we're going to do an IP config. And then the, uh, oh, there's the IP address, 201. Uh, so I'm going to copy that. Alrighty. So uh, the next part is to do uh, net sh interface. IPv6. All right, so let's go back to the tunnel broker for a minute. Uh, we assigned it an IP address right here on um, on that interface. So let's go back to the command prompt, and uh, we're going to do show addresses it should show the same yeah there it is right there show addresses delete address and then paste that guy in there oh we got to put the uh, name of the network connection for IP6 tunnel okay that looks like that worked. No error message. Delete. Actually, let's do a show interfaces. And I've got a some here. The yep, IP6 tunnel. So delete interface IP6 tunnel. No error message. Now let's switch to Teredo. And remember when I told you to uh, show your state, we're going to do a set state default because that's what mine was. Now let's make sure we've done all of this. We've deleted the IP address. Let's see here. Deleted the IP address. We, uh, this is where we add the IP address. Oh, that's where we added the route. That's where we added the IP address. This is where we made the tunnel, deleted the interface, and then turned off Teredo. Teredo's back on. So we can exit out of net sh and uh, redo the ping. And it should fail. Because I don't have IPv6 anymore.
let's close Firefox. Yeah, it's failing. All right, so uh, Control C, it'll just do that for 255. Stop. Yeah, whatever. Uh, let's go firewall. Firewall, big window. We don't need that big window. Inbound rules. Now, here's the ICMP rule we made. Right click and delete that rule. Yes. There we go. And that's how you do the, the IPv6 Star Wars trace. Set up the tunnel, do the trace route, and then delete the tunnel. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the experience of this tutorial, why not share it with your friends?